loves. I don't think the lighting could be any worse in here, but we're gonna go, well, no, it could be totally worse. I've made videos where it was worse, like the other day when I made that one in the room for Thanksgiving. But I think it's because I don't have any makeup on. I'm on my lunch break. I'm eating very quickly. You guys are gonna laugh. I'm just eating a huge, enormous plate of vegetables and beans. I have some, in case you're wondering, everybody always wants to know what I'm eating, lima beans mixed with vegetables and vegan mozzarella cheese and a little bit of tomato sauce. And then I have peas, <clears throat> a little bit of Yukon potatoes and carrots and onion in, in that mix because I made, my family wanted steak last night so they made steaks and I made the potatoes to go with that. Then I made that for my sister because she came over with her boyfriend. Anyway, so I just wanted to come in since it's a vlog miss, I was gonna type about this on my Facebook page on a status but then I thought about it I'm like, oh I can make a vlog about this. So Adam is taking a personal trainer course inside he's been communicating with the guy back and forth starting a program for the guys blah 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 blah. so he calls me today and he's like listen do me a favor i need you to um get the certificate well let me back up he's been calling a whole bunch of people that he um is requesting that they pay for the certification for him and so i said i've been saying for weeks like why don't you just let me pay for the cert certification for you for your birthday and he didn't want me to do it. So then finally today, he, he was talking to his friend who was going through two separate people who were having some financial struggles that were doing very, very well and are very close and always offer to do stuff for him. But then he felt bad during the conversation when they said that, that to even ask for anything. So he asked me today, he's like, if you still want to do that, if you still can afford to do that, I'd really appreciate it. I said, no problem. I'm more than happy to do that for you for your birthday and for Christmas, which are about four weeks apart. Um, just send me the information. So he sent me the guy's number to call. Okay, so on my lunch break, now, I guess in their defense, although they don't deserve any defense, it's around 1.20 and I haven't eaten yet. I got a late lunch break today. And number two, it's a very hormonal week for me. So those two factors are working in their favor, I guess, if you're gonna talk about me having an attitude. I don't know, but you tell me below how what you think, who you think should have had the attitude in this situation. So I call the number he gives me, and first of all, I get this weird voicemail that's just like a clip of part of an address. So what? Why do you have your address on a voicemail? Obviously, it's a business phone, but it was just weird. And it was just like literally like blah, 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 California. And then the zip code. So I hang up and I called right back and the guy answers. So when he answered, I said, hi, you know, my name is Ro. You've been communicating with my husband. I'm calling to pay for, I'm calling to pay you. I'm calling to pay for his certification. And he said, okay, hold on a second. Or actually, he didn't even say, okay, hold on a second. He's like, hold on. Okay, so I hold for like 20 seconds. Then he starts talking again. So I start responding to him. He started screaming at me. Hold on, I said, hold on. I'm on the phone, hold on. So I said back to him, <coughs> I started screaming and I made myself cough. If you're speaking to me and asking me to hold on, okay but I hear you talking into the phone, so I didn't know if you were speaking to me. If you are, I will hold on. And I shut up. And then he comes back on the phone, he's like, I was on the other line. And then I guess he kind of felt bad because um, at the end he apologized, but he was like, so unprofessional. Again, I am trying to pay you. Why are you gonna be a dick to me? So he's like, do you have a pin? And first thing in my head was, a pin. I'm thinking, do you have a pin number? like a pin number for him, but he knew exactly who I was talking about. Cause again, they've been communicating and he referred to him as Adam. So I, it dawns on me. Thank God I went to school in the South. He's out in California, but thank God I went to school in the South. Cause I know that he was asking me if I had a pen to write with. And I know that a lot of people do pronounce it P I N well, the way that I would pronounce from New Jersey pin. So I said, are you asking me if I have a pen to write with? Cause if you are, yes, I do. He said, well, you need to call this number. I'm not the one that takes care of money. You need to call her right now. Her name is whatever. So, and then he's like, okay, I'm sorry, bye. So I got a half-assed apology for him being a dick to me, but whatever. And then um, I call the woman who is a doll baby, but she has no freaking clue what she's talking about. So she takes my credit card number and then she's like, okay, so do you have his name? And I'm like, uh, uh, the inmate's name? Of course I have his name. She goes, okay, because... I, do you know what certification he's getting? And I was like, no, he just told me to call and pay for his certification. He's been working very closely with John, but um, I can find out, I have his name, I have his register number, I have everything you need to know about him, but I don't know anything about this certification. He's been working closely with you, with your organization. She goes, okay, cause I don't have his name. I, that's what I need, I need his name from you. 
You just told me you not wanted to know what sort of vacation, what, what this was about and what this was for. I don't know. It's your job. I said, I can give you his name. Sure. His name is Adam. Oh no, hold on. I'm going to transfer you. What? Okay. So she transfers me. I'm waiting. It's ringing. Comes back. Somebody's on the phone. Hello. And I was like, hello, this is, and I started my spiel. She's like, no, 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 no. It's me. I'm going to try to transfer you again. I'm going to try one more time. Now I'm being nice to her because I can't get hurt. She didn't do anything wrong. They just don't know what the hell they're doing. It's not her company. She's just somebody working. I don't know. Maybe she's his wife sitting in the other room. Maybe she's his daughter. Maybe this is a big fat scam. I have no idea. All I do know is that I was treated with an attitude and I just gave you my credit card number. So I either just got taken for my credit card or for $250. If this is the case, transfers me one more time. Some guy answers, not the first guy. Sounds like a young guy. Sounds like he's probably an intern. He's like, okay, so I need the inmate's name and I need an email address. And I was like, okay, I could do that for you. Give him his name, give him an email address. And he's like, I know he can't open the email. I was like, I know I've got it. And he was like, but I'm going to set up the account for you and then you can go through there. And if he needs anything, he can just let us know. Okay, you just said that he can't answer the email, but whatever. Okay, got it. Do you need anything else from me? Do you have any questions? I said, well, no, I don't personally have any questions, but if he has any questions, I will be back in touch. Okay. I want the past 30 minutes of my life back, first of all. Second of all, either this organization has lied and they do not do a lot of work with inmates because they have no idea what the hell they're doing, or I was just taken for a ride by my husband and these people, or, well, not by my husband on purpose, but you know what I mean? Or they are just very, very California, and I am very, very East Coast, and we are all on a different time. Up for the day, so I am not, I'm on my lunch break, like I said, I am eating all my vegetables, I will probably feel better after some of these carbs, and then I'm gonna go back to my office, and I'm gonna check and see if I got that email. I will keep you guys posted, and I will let you know. I mean, this organization is world-renowned, they are known online, like they have websites the guy that originally i called and he yelled at me is like the founder i believe of this organization I, whatever they shouldn't i shouldn't have been taken for a ride but i need to rub my tent my temples that's what i need to do <laughs> have you guys had any similar experiences have your husbands put you in any type of situations like this have you ever tried to pay somebody and they gave you an attitude that's my favorite part i'm trying to pay you and you're yelling at me I can keep my $250, but I really want my husband to get this certification because he's put a lot of time and energy into this. Plus I need a gift for him for his birthday and Christmas. So you're really helping me out here. If you're actually legit, just saying. Anyway, if you've had any experience like this, if you want to give me a reaction, tell me what your thoughts are, tell me to get my roots covered, whatever you want to tell me, I would love to know in the comments below. Give this video a like. I will be back tomorrow. Um, you guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to all being behind you. Lots of love for my heart tours. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one.